Hello darlings, it's me, Rosie Bits. Um, coming on Life as a Human to talk about the movie Burlesque. There's been lots of hype in the media about it and lots of hype within my own community about it. My burlesque community, that is. And I just want to um, put my two cents in and um, maybe set the record straight a little bit. So I went to burlesque last night with my nine-year-old. It's PG, so she was able to get in no problem. First difference between burlesque the movie and burlesque the reality. Generally, you can't bring nine-year-olds to a real burlesque show. You know, not that there's necessarily anything in them that's going to be super offensive, but not appropriate for nine-year-olds. This movie, definitely appropriate for nine-year-olds. She loved it. And you know what? It was fun. It was fluffy. It was, you know, there wasn't a big plot or anything going on. It wasn't a lot of deep thinking, but it was, um, you know, it was Cher. It was Christina singing and having a little bit of, you know, worry about the club, about, oh my goodness, am I going to get together with my true love, that sort of stuff. And lots of song and dance, which is fun, fun costumes, not as nice as you see in a real burlesque show, not as interesting or dynamic, but fun. And um, yeah, it certainly was, it was a fun movie. Um, aside from two things, I, I personally didn't see anything in it that actually related to what I know as the world of burlesque. And the two things that I saw that were definitely burlesque to me, were number one, when Stanley Tucci handed over a big armful of costumes to share and said, okay, take these home, these need your love, and this one needs your glue gun. That, that's burlesque. You know, you go to any burlesque show, backstage, you're gonna find somebody with a glue gun gluing crap onto their costume last minute, or definitely you bring your stuff home afterwards, stuff has fallen off and you're glue gunning it. I've glue gunned stuff on the ferry going over to shows. Um, yeah, you know. You, it, glue gun is, is definitely part of burlesque. The other one was um, when Christina Aguilera was in bed with her lover and uh, she went to put on her stocking and he said, oh, do that again. And so she took it off and then she put it on. That, now she took that to the stage, that would be burlesque, 100%. That removal of the stocking, that putting it back on, that whole teasing thing, strip tease, that, that's burlesque. So I understand from what the director has been saying that he's sort of hearkening back to a different type of burlesque, but I have to say, having read a lot, being friends with some pretty smart cookies, from what he's done, I just don't really see it in the history of burlesque. I would say, you know, just call, call what you're doing cabaret dancing. Um, you know, it's a fun movie. Is it burlesque? No. And the things that I'm sad about, that the mainstream's gonna miss out about are, really what make burlesque interesting, it's not the nudity. Because you know what, you can go to nude shows and they're not as exciting as a burlesque show. I went to Jubilee, Topless Jubilee in Las Vegas, which I did love. I totally loved, the costumes were amazing. I will go to Jubilee every time I go to Vegas. But I have to say, once I saw the boobs, I fell asleep because there was no tease. Um, and in burlesque, you have the tease. You have the titillation of the strip tease but often you have something deeper. You have these layers that people put on and then that they take off. Um, and within an artful strip tease, what you're seeing are different layers of vulnerability to the performer, um, a sense of expression that they're trying to put across, but also within other burlesque numbers, it's not just about the strip. You know, there's all sorts of different things that go into it that are comedic or that are political or that have some sort of deeper meaning and often there's a twist that is unexpected, that we all in the audience just love to see. Um, the other thing that was really, really missing is that burlesque performers interact really directly with their audience members. You know, what I call it is that I, when I'm on stage, I wanna have a dialogue with my audience and I'm not, you know, we're not speaking to one another necessarily, but it's an eyeball to eyeball contact. Um, they know that they're part of what I'm doing on stage. Uh, and that was just, you know, not at all, of course, in the movie. And it was, yeah, it was sadly disappointing that, yet again, the mainstream doesn't find this art form, which has so much going for it, which is interesting and diverse and sassy. Um, they don't find it interesting enough to put into a mainstream movie. Like, it would have been enough. You wouldn't have had a PG rating. 
but it would have been a darn interesting movie. So before I go on too long, I want to just encourage you all to go and see a real burlesque show because you know what? You're going to love it. Um, I have not run into a person who's gone to see a good burlesque show because you can see burlesque that's not great. So don't do that. Go and see a good burlesque show. Go see something that's recommended by a friend and um, you're going to love it because when you see women on stage or men who are empowered, you see diversity in body shape, size, um, ethnicity, um, you're going to feel good about who you are and you're going to be entertained. Let me guarantee you, if you go to a show that I'm in, you are going to be entertained. Um, I won't let you leave until you're entertained. And fall in love with the real art of burlesque. So I'm going to add a whole bunch of links to all my friends, to everybody I can think of who are amazing burlesque performers. Go and check them out because they're fun, they're interesting, they're sexy, they're sassy, all those things that I already said. Um, also, there's something called 21st Century Pinup. Pin up. And they do a big thing where you vote for your favorite burlesque stars. So go and vote. Go and see who's up there. Go and vote. Um, get some of, some of our, our Canadian girls on the list. And uh, yeah, go and explore the real burlesque. It's worth it. That's it. Rosie Betts signing up.